दोपहर ले लो ग्राम opposite sides are dc and ab bc and ad they are facing opposite to each other so they are known as opposite sides opposite angles are angle d and angle b angle c and angle a they are also facing opposite to each other so they are known as opposite angles let us know about what is adjacent sides and angles when one of the sides start when another end is known as adjacent sides like dc and cb is one adjacent side and ba and ad is another adjacent side adjacent angles are when two angles lie on the same side is known as adjacent angles like angle d and angle c lie on the same side dc so they are known as adjacent angles and more examples are cb ba and ad these are some more examples of adjacent angles As you all can see, I have two sticks. One is of twenty-four centimeter, and another is of fifteen centimeter. We joint it in parallelogram to know about diagonals. These are the diagonals of a parallelogram, AC and DB, and where they meet is known as O, and it is the point of intersection. It divides the diagonals in two equal parts, like AO is equal to OC. And DO is equal to OB, and the diagonals divide the parallelogram into equal triangles. Like ABC is equal to triangle ADC. These are the properties of a parallelogram. Thank you.
is known as quadrilateral. A quadrilateral having four sides equals, as you can see here, AB is equal to 15 cm, AD is equal to 15 cm, DC is equal to 15 cm and BC is also equal to 15 cm. So all sides are equal in this figure. So this is a rhombus. Now we will know that what are some properties of rhombus. So the first property that is all the property in parallelogram except one are of rhombus. So let us know that. So here AB, AB is parallel to DC. AD is parallel to BC and I have told already I have told already you that AB is equal to BC is equal to DC is equal to AD and this all are equal to 15 cm and all are of equal sides. So let us write that AB is equal to BC is equal to DC is equal to AD. Now moving to next property opposite angle are equal. Here you can see that Angle A is equal to 120 degree. So angle C is also equal to 120 degree. So angle A is equal to angle C and these two are equal to 120 degree because of opposite angles. Here also you can see that angle B is equal to angle D which is equal to 60 degree due to opposite angles. Now moving to next property. Adjacent, ad adjacent sides adjacent angles are supplementary. Now let me prove that as you know that AD is parallel to BC. Right? So we know that one side of the transversal sum is 180 degree. Right? So angle A plus angle D will be equal to 180 degree because of this. So 120 degree plus 60 degree will be equal to 180 degree, right? So here also angle A plus angle B will be equal to 180 degree. Angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. Angle D plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. You can add up this. Now moving next, these their diagonals are not equal, but they bisect each other. Let let me tell you how. So, AC, AC bisect DB. As in this figure and is this rhombus, AC, AC and DB are diagonals. Are diagonals. So, DB is bisected by AC in two equal parts. So, we can conclude from this is DO is equal to OB. Right? So here AC has been bisected by DB. So here also we can conclude with OA is equal to OC. Now we will look ahead by proving that how these are perpendicular bisector. As you can see that here, 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 here. These all bisect at 90 degree. You can check with the help of a protector or a set square. But let me tell you how you can prove it. So now we will prove that how rhombus diagonals are perpendicular bisector. So as I have already told that either you can check with by using a protector or a set square and also you can uh, prove it by using congruency rule. So now we will use congruency rule. Okay. So here you can take two triangles, okay, right, uh, like triangle AOB, congruent to triangle AOG, here we have to prove it, okay. So, uh, here you have seen that o, OA is common, okay, so means OA is common. AD as given 15 centimeter and AB is given 15 cm. As we know that in rhombus, all sides are equal. I have already told that. So now moving, here diagonals bisect each other. 
as I have wrote here, DO is equal to OB, means DO is equal to OB, right? So, DO is equal to OP. So, this is also given here. Huh? So, pi SSS criteria, side, side, side criteria, we can conclude that these two triangles are concave. By applying cyclicity, you can also uh, prove that these two also are congruent. So, in this way, you can prove that a uh, thrombus by uh, diagonals bisect perpendicularly. I hope you understood this concept. With this, thank you.